In previous years, the thrust of Bee Week has been to get the attention of rural communities, and in particular farmers, and teach them as much as they can about the country's most prolific pollinator. However, this year, the National Beekeepers Association is focusing its efforts on urban New Zealand. While out on the farm, the bees' pollinating role is highly prized. In urban areas, it is thought their importance is not often as fully recognised. So in addition to bee experts hitting classrooms around the main centres, wildflower seed packs are being given away and a Trees for Urban Bees campaign is being launched. But it appears it may have been the bees that led Bee Week to the cities in the first place. The irony is that while bees are being hammered in traditional agricultural areas, they're doing spectacularly well in heavily built up urban zones. All over the world it is being shown that once bees get away from the monocultures, insecticides and neonicotinoids associated with farming, they are thriving again. And in New Zealand in recent years, there has been an explosion in the number of urban backyard beehives. One of the jewels in the crown of this year's Bee Week has been the promotion of Town Hall Honey. Since October last year, bees have been based on the Town Hall's balcony, which hadn't been used officially since the Beatles toured New Zealand in 1964. The two hives here on the roof of the Auckland Town Hall have produced more than 100 kilos of honey over the last season. We'll just have a taste of, of uh, the um, Town Hall honey. The extra. It's sweet, just like the city. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Multifloral, mm. but with a distinct punch. Yes, with a bit yes. of wax. Yes, absolutely. Excellent. 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 So, mm. honey. Another one? Highly Another recommended. One. Very nice and yeah. light. The Town Hall honey will also be given to visiting officials from other countries. But as Auckland Mayor Len Brown admitted, there had been a few interesting moments having up to 50,000 bees above the council's offices. Well, someone actually went upstairs to lower the flag and they got chased out by the bees. <laughs> <laughs> as one commercial beekeeper at the Town Hall remarked to Country 99 TV yesterday, if Auckland's politicians could learn to work as well and as productively together as the bees on the roof do, Auckland really would have a super city. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.